Hi, what's up? This is Gary Young, and we're very lucky to have some Team Singapore footballers in the house with us today, namely Mohaimin Suhaimi, we have Lionel Tan, as well as Irfan Fandi with us. So we're just going to have a quick chat with them to find out how they're doing. So maybe firstly, guys, growing up, who was the one that inspired you the most? We'll start with Mohaimin. Um, for me, um, I look up to Shah, uh, No Alam Shah, because uh, he scored a lot in in major tournaments and when I was a kid I really wanted to be like him so you model so, did you like model your play after how yeah, he plays and all that yeah yeah so yeah Alam Shah is the one who inspired me the awesome. most awesome how about you yeah. right now well growing up it had always been my parents because they were the one that helped me uh, with my progress of football and they had always been encouraging me and supporting me so I really appreciate it Okay, uh, growing up for me, I think my dad inspired me the most because I think everybody knows who he is and for me, I just want to live up to that name, uh, keep the family name running and just do him proud. Okay, just first. okay uh, thanks for your answers. Um, next question we actually that we have uh, coming up actually is to ask you guys what exactly it means for you to represent Singapore, particularly at the SEA Games. So, um, if I, this is actually your second SEA Games, I understand your first one was back in Singapore in 2015. Um, is it any different, I mean, compa competing at home versus competing at your first overseas SEA Games? And what does it feel like for you to represent Singapore at the SEA Games? Okay, uh, firstly, I think uh, the first, my first SEA Games, it wasn't one of the best ones because of the result, but uh, it was a really good one because it was my first, I was the youngest in the team. And I think the pressure on us was really a huge one, but I think it was it was an enjoyable time for us, and for me it's a memorable one also because I I was a torch bearer, so yeah, right yeah, now, but it, it was quite enjoyable, yeah, very memorable, yeah, awesome, Lionel maybe. Well, I would say it's a very proud moment for me because representing Singapore in such a big tournament, uh, not everyone get the chance to do it. And hopefully, in the near future, I can represent Singapore again. Yep. Awesome. Um, this is going to be the last SEA Games for me because as I'm one of the senior in the team. And um, obviously, it's a proud moment for me because uh, I don't have the chance to represent uh, Singapore in the, in the SEA Games again. But uh, as what Lionel have mentioned, uh, not everyone uh, have the uh, the opportunity to represent uh, Singapore in Sea Games, and hopefully, um, these Sea Games will taught us and also the team, um, though especially the younger boys, um, a lot for for the for the next Sea Games. Yeah, thank you, Mohamed. So um. Moving on, what's your most memorable experience so far at this SEA Games here in Kuala Lumpur? I mean, sports or otherwise? Um, for me, uh, it has to be the one we... Uh, the, the celebration against uh, Malaysia, but unfortunately we lost the game. But it felt like we already won the game. But then again, we lost the game. That's the most important thing, is, is to win in any match. Um, for me, in my opinion, that's the most uh, memorable moment so far. I would have loved to say what he said because the first goal Amirudin scored was really brilliant, and that was we yeah we enjoyed we enjoyed it a lot. But moving on, I mean the following game after Malaysia's uh, loss, uh, we won the game, so it's definitely a good and enjoyable occasion. I think what they said about Amirudin's goal, I think it was a really awesome goal. All credit to him. Uh. And, uh, but if I have to say something, I would say the opening ceremony, the walking in, wearing the red jacket, going in as a huge contingent. I think it's a, a good moment for us. Uh. It's, a, you can, it's something you can remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, extremely yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ivan. Um, I mean, it's okay, Switzerland, you also mentioned uh, that, you know, at the previous SEA Games, it, it was, it's tough. I, I, it's not easy being a Team Singapore athlete, of course. I mean, you know, you all have a lot of pressure, a lot of weight on your shoulders to represent the country and, you know, and 
particularly of course in Singapore, I mean, football is a very popular sport and there's a lot of pressure. But we know you you guys are training really hard and you also got to balance your your trainings with other stuff as well. So maybe maybe you can tell us like what has been your biggest uh, takeaway uh, just now. Mohamed, you also mentioned that you know the younger boys that they they probably can learn a lot from the experience. So maybe you all can also share like based on this particular Sea Games, what is the one thing that you feel you have learned the most uh, from from this from these games? I think for me, uh, I captain the squad for all the games yeah. that we played, and I think the most important for me is for the team to stay together, because this is a time where we can either go g- good games or bad games. And you can have disappointing results, critics, and all that stuff. So we have to stay together as a team, uh, and also we have to learn like recovery-wise. Like we play every other day for the past five, like the past few games, and I think you can see the players were tired and stuff like that. So it's really important recovery. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I believe it's all about having faith in one another, because whether is it on the field or off the field. As long as we are together and we trust each other, uh, uh, things that we do on the field will work out better for us. And I think it is important for the team to carry out that spirit. Yeah. Uh, like what they've mentioned, I think the most important thing is to stay together as a team. Uh, is to have people that support us. You know, who are behind us, even though result. Uh, it's not going our way. We have to keep these people around us to keep us motivated and keep us, uh, make us move move even further and beyond uh, these sea games, because um, football is very uh, is is an uh, important and also one of the uh, most popular sports in Singapore. And it's not doing well in Singapore, but we have to keep the people that um, who have faith, who still believe. That we uh, we 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 can do something about uh, the the industry, and yeah, staying together with the people that has been supporting us is really important. Yeah. Yeah. Well said, boys. I could have put it any better. Um, we all know it's tough to compete at the games when we're away from home, you know, leaving our family and friends behind. So, is there any like special shout outs you like to say to anyone who might be watching this back home? Um, for me, I would like, uh, on behalf of the team, I would like to say thanks to to our family members, especially um, who have come all the way to KL just to support us. You know, and I know some of them are have, have their own work. You know, they have their own things to do, but still they have they come all the way. Even even the the officials, the FAS officials, they come all the way here just to support us, and it's it's a good thing. And these little things really. Uh, make us um, the the boost in, in the team. Yeah, I think um, the support has has to be there, you know. And thank you, and please keep supporting us. And yes, uh, we really appreciate those who have came down all the way to KL despite their busy schedule to support the team, and we really appreciate it. And hopefully, in future. Uh, we will be able to gather more fans together and support Singapore as one. And not forgetting the people who gave us well wishes back in Singapore and gave us lots of, lots of faith and showed us uh, that we can actually play for them and for our family. Thank you. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to thank my family and friends who support us all the way from Singapore. Uh, sending us messengers and also to the parents of the players who came down uh, your, pres- your presence was felt and it was really important to us and also I'd like to mention uh, the Singapore diehard fans who came down for every single game uh, like when we play against Malaysia even though you guys were a small group like we know you were there uh, cheering us on and we really appreciate it thank you Awesome stuff. Thank you guys for, for answering the questions. We're just going to get you guys to uh, adjourn to the table over there now to just sign some Team Singapore memorabilia for us, okay? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get each of you to sign, all three of you to sign on uh, all three of this. So it's one uh, Team Singapore jersey as well as uh, two tumblers. This is actually taken out, but it's going to be put in the tumbler. So feel free to go ahead when you are ready. 
space. Yeah, yeah, leave some space. Huh? I don't know how big your sign, but. <laughs> All right, guys, so thank you for joining us today, uh, Gary and myself, John Young, um, as well as our boys, our football boys. Um, That's right. So how do we win this autograph? Yeah, you want to find out how you can stand to win these exclusively autographed Team Singapore memorabilia, all you have to do is to like and share this video. This all right, video. This video. This, um, this one that you're watching right now. Yes, okay. and you stand a chance to win. We'll choose three lucky winners to, to win these uh, autographed uh, memorabilia. Exclusive autograph merchandise yeah. here. Yeah, so uh, don't forget to send your love and support for our foot, uh, footballers as well as for all our Team Singapore athletes, right. of course. That's right, hashtag OneTeamSG, all your content to support our athletes. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and yeah. we'll catch you guys very soon. Don't forget to like and share.